It's here. It's finally here. And it's not ranked! What is up, guys? Lenny Tats striking here again with another video. Terra Gaze has finally made his way to SAO. And here we are at our guild base. And here are my friends, my guildmates. And we are here gathered to challenge the raid boss. Well, we've already done it though, a few runs. But we haven't done 90 yet. So, as we can see here, we can get good rewards here, some restorative items, and also Medal of Combat Arts. Now, to enter here, you need the tickets from the uh, ticket collecting event, which is available now. And as you can see, over here, you can actually see when a guildmate is challenging the dungeon. So, let's just jump into it, guys. Okay, I got this connected. <laughs> Recording again. So, take note, guys, this is actually the level 70 version. We're still yet to do the level 90 version, so we're waiting for a lot more guild members to, uh, you know, go online before we challenge this. So for now, we're just going to do 70. Okay, so here we are. And as you can see right now, the weakness of the boss is actually Slash, Water, and Holy. But the thing is, this actually changes. So when you get his HP to half, you get a chance to break the boss. And then his weakness actually changes to Thrust, Holy, and Water. And in order to get him to break, you actually need to use a rapier and rapier skills because um, if you don't know about the break thing it's when you see this indicator of a certain weapon type on a certain part of the uh, boss fight and when it happens when, when the indicator comes it's your signal that you have to spam attacks of that type of weapon and that will actually if you complete that gauge I mean if you deplete that gauge there you can actually make the boss really vulnerable and you can inflict a lot of damage okay so there's that so now that the typing, I mean the weaknesses are in order, um, another thing that you have to know about this kind of um, dungeon is you can enter in multiple parties. So there's a max limit of 30 members that can run the dungeon at once. And you can actually read that on the, uh, you know, the NPC that, uh, that you use to enter the raid boss. So feel free to check that out for any more info. Okay, so he does this thing, this AOE thing um, with an I. So that thing actually petrifies you. So what, what petrify does is um, it actually makes you a stone. <laughs> so yeah, you can't do anything. You can't use a cleansing potion to get out of it. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how it works. Okay, so I'm going to go here. Just do this attack and wait for me to get petrified. And there we go. As you can see, it's quite creepy. <laughs> but yeah, um, you can't even use a cleansing potion. I tried earlier and yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, so he this is it. This is it. Okay, so when he does this, you have to change to your rapier and just hit him with a lot of rapier attacks. And then there you go. He's broken. And you just keep spamming a lot of attacks on him. And he's just down there doing nothing. And that ganja up there actually times it. I mean, it shows you how long before he gets up, gets back up. And there you have it. Like, it's not... I mean, I really expected that this boss will be really tough. I mean, we tried doing 90 earlier, even though we didn't finish it. I was actually expecting something more difficult. But the thing is, I'm not sure that this guy was um, is, is as strong as I think. <laughs> so, there's that. Okay, so he's doing this thing again. And as you can see, our party is spamming a lot of rapier skills. And there you go we got him down so fast. And yeah, 70 is pretty easy, guys. So... You can do it in like a party of six to be honest. It might take a while, but it's doable. Not that long too. And we tried level 90 though with like a few members and we did manage to chip a lot of damage from him. I mean, not a lot, a lot, but like enough to see that you can actually do it with not a full party, but it might be more efficient. Okay, so what you do when you finish the boss, you just destroy those boxes and you get all of these cool stuff <laughs> okay those stuff that you actually get which is the terrifying skin and the terrifying orb actually is used to craft the um, avatars that you can get on this guild event so I'm gonna actually try that now okay so here we are and dang this is creepy hey I can make one now it's weird though that you need a lot more skin to make the creepy ones instead of this cool one okay we have to check it out let's check it out let's see let's see let's see I'm excited to sh wear it. It's cool. What the? I don't remember getting this. What is this? <laughs> Dang, that's creepy. Well, this is not what I came here for. There we go. 
There we go. Dang, that's so cool. Dang, that's so nice. Okay, so I told my friends that I got this helmet. <laughs> Let's see how they react. It dropped like randomly. I don't know when though. Fabulous. <laughs> Let's see how Sasuke reacts. She's still not looking. Wait, there we go. <laughs> okay guys, so it's finally time to look at the um, the notice board, which I should have started with. But the thing is, I had a party with my friends, so I had to go in the... Okay. So I had to go in the uh, dungeon really quick. So let's just read it now. <laughs> okay, so Care Gaze Hunt. Okay, so get accessory avatars in the middle of combat arts. Okay, defeat monsters and- Whoa, okay, wait. The eye on the mo shoulder moves? And make the eye appear on the emotes? With the emotes? Dang, I didn't know you can do that. Well, <laughs> we have to try it. Wait, hold on, hold on. I wanna try it. I wanna try it. Let me stare, Let me stare into your into soul. Your soul. Oh, okay, here's some new things. Okay, so, we got some titles, record titles. Look of Fear. If you get 100 skins and one terrifying orb is the reward, eyeball killer, 500 skins, and one medal of combat arts. And I see you with the 1000 terrifying skins and one terrifying helm, which is actually the purple red version. And here is the um, info about Terror Gaze. I already talked about this a while back, so no need to, you know, dwell in this any further. Okay, so here are some important stuff that you have to know. Um, you cannot attempt the Terror Gaze hunt if you're not a member of the guild, so that's an automatic because it is a guild event. You can read through the other things, but I like to focus on the more um, important stuff because some of these we've already talked about in the past video. Okay, so each guild can only attempt one difficulty of the Terror Gaze hunt dungeon at a time. And players who are defeated cannot get any dropped items. So you guys have to make sure that everyone is alive before you, you know, kill the boss. Okay, so here are some um, rewards from the dungeon. So as you can see, there's Middle of Combat Arts here in the interior, and you can just read through all of this, guys. And as you can see, we got a lot of healing stuff, I mean, cleansing potions and stuff. And as you can see, we got a lot of Middle of Combat Arts here. And here, we have Terrifying Orb, Terrifying Orb from the um, clears. So you get a lot of Terrifying Orbs here for the, um, you know, for making avatars, ugly avatars. But, you know, the guild ones are actually pretty cool. So as of right now, I got the first title, and you can check your title progress on the achievement section over here. Anyway guys, that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll be uploading the other events, or maybe my guild's attempt at level 90, the, um, the, the raid boss level 90. So please stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video. Peace out. Sasuke told me this avatar looks like the Statue of Liberty. <laughs>